Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another beauty box review for you. So we're gonna be unboxing the BoxyCharm base box for September. Also, we're just gonna ignore my bottom lip here. Uh, yesterday, I used a dark lipstick and it just, it settled into like the parts where I bite my lips. So this is all like fresh skin there. But this is everything here. We have the Dr. Brand Triple Antioxidant Eye Cream. This guy is $46 and it has a hint of a scent to it. It's a very calming scent, like jasmine or something. Eucalyptus. What does eucalyptus smell like? It's absorbing right into the skin, which is nice. It's not really oily and just sitting on top. I really, really like that. So it has revolutionary A3 power, which is a dynamic shield boosted with antioxidant, age defense, and anti-stress ingredients. It's designed to help the look of fine lines and prevent first signs of aging. It protects against skin radicals and external aggressors. Like I said, that's $46, which I mean, for Dr. Brandt, their products are always amazing and you get a lot in here and it's just an eye cream. So you only really need like a pea size amount. Looks like we have a brush set here. This is the Elena Badro Baby Blue set. I love these chrome handles. This is really nice. It's like a blue chrome. This set creates a seamlessly flawless makeup application, contour, blend, and define with these three limited edition decadent synthetic makeup brushes, travel or store brushes in style with a luxurious tan pouch. This set is $58. I'm not sure if Elena Badro is a like celebrity or if this is a known brand. I feel like I've heard that name before, so maybe that's why this is $58. But these are like your essential brushes, so maybe that's why. And this does feel like a really nice high quality bag. With the, the label on here, this actually looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It actually kind of looks like the Porsche design or Porsche, if you guys are fancy. The other three products in here require me having a base foundation done, so I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. Let's see what else we have on here. This is the Saint Lux Beauty Brow Gel. I believe this formula is clear. I like that this wand is miniature so you can really get in there and just be super precise. Not many brow gels work for me. I don't know why, like I don't have really stubborn hairs, but I mean, I guess I do if it's not working for me, but it's like impossible for me to find a really good gel. I know there's a good one by Anastasia, but it's like kind of expensive. So I wind up just using hairspray, honestly, and just spray it on my hand and take a spoolie and go in. But this actually does seem like it's working. And I like clear gels. I don't like um, anything with pigment in it. I just find them harder to work with for some reason. I just feel like the pigment always gets kind of clumpy and it just looks unnatural. So I love a good clear gel. Yeah, I really like this. And it did make my brows look fuller. I was reading on here that it said it was supposed to do that, but I mean, I feel like they all say that and they normally don't do anything. Okay, brow down your brows. This brow gel glides on effortlessly, leaving your brows looking fuller and giving them perfect shape. This brow brush will give you a precise placement of your brows and a lightweight gel has no residue when dry. And it's $22. I really like this. Let's finish up the rest of the face and see if it holds in the meantime, because that's how fast it will give out for me. Like I'll know within five minutes whether it's gonna work for me or not. So let's continue. Next up, we have a face palette here. So this is the Blink Glow Getter face palette. I already put a little bit of blush on because I thought that this was an eyeshadow palette but it's not. I'm actually glad that it's a face palette. Um, not many brands come out with face palettes for some reason, but I do wanna go in with this really light pink here. So that is, is it ambitious? Oh, accomplished. Ambitious. Ooh, that's a really nice color. 
I'm going a little heavy on this because I feel like this just blush always fades the fastest. It's like the first to go. I'm going to do a little bit about all my cream room. And I've been doing like right under my nose here and then a little bit up top just to give a sun kiss look. Maybe I'll go in with that resilient shade, which is the third blush just to do right here. That one's more of like a true pink blush. That's really pretty. I love the shades that come in here and I love this almost like muted pink here. You can't see it as well on camera. Oh, you can see my messy ass desk. There we go. You can't see it as well on camera, but it's more of like, I would say a mauve in person. And I love these highlight shades. I'm gonna go in with Empowered on the bottom, which is kind of like the lightest um, highlight in this palette. I'm just gonna do my nose highlight. I just do a little ball on the tip there, tap it out with my pinky, and then I go on the bridge. Then I also tap that one out. For the sake of using this in every area, I'm just gonna put some right here at the high point of my cheekbone. This is a really nice highlight. And it's not chalky for being a shadow. I really like powdered highlighters. I'm not a big like liquid highlighter person. I think because I like more of a matte look and don't like anything dewy. And I know that you can set it with the powder, but I don't really like like a super blinding highlight either. I like something that's more natural and I can build it up if I want. So this is a really nice palette. And it's like blinding, look at that. <laughs> I put a lot on. But you can always just take a powder brush and go over it tone it down a little bit. I don't know if I should swatch the actual blushes. I feel like you're not gonna be able to see that on camera, but I will swatch the highlights for you guys right now. And these were really nice as I was swatching them. They have that buildability and I just love these shades. They pick such great shade range in here. Okay, so I just wound up swatching the blushes for you guys. They're right here, obviously. In this palette, there are four smooth matte blushes and four luminous highlighters in beautiful, sophisticated shades that enhance all skin tones for a personalized, youthful glow. Its formulas are refined to blend effortlessly and last all day so that you can glow and get it. That face palette is $50, which I don't think is necessarily, I mean, it's a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But if you're a big fan of blushes and highlighters and have it both in one palette, like I said, I feel like not many brands actually do a face palette. The only other one that I really use all the time that I know of is the um, Cheek Stars Re Reunion, oh my God, Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette by Benefit. I love this, I use the hell out of this one. It's pretty obvious. I like this one specifically because this has a contour shade in it. It's not just all blushes and highlighters. So that makes this one a little bit more, like way more usable, I guess, because I have my contour shade, they got the hula, I got the sugar bomb, I usually use this for a blush, and then I have the um, cookie highlighter. But yeah, to each their own, let me know if $50 for a face palette is expensive to you guys, like just having blush and highlighters. And next we're moving on to this hair gel. I've been seeing everyone like lay their baby hairs down, so that's what this is. This is called Quick Slick by insert name here. This is Quick Slick Hair Essence. Let me get this thing off of here. Okay, so it just looks like a mascara wand, but it's obviously clear gel. So I've seen people do this before. So they just go, they like go like this. I mean, I see a lot of people do like all these crazy things where they do that and then like swoop it or something. Probably not doing this right. I mean, this is how I would use it if I were to use it. I'm not like super into that look for myself personally, but I mean, I might use it for this because I have like a weird, like right here, I've always had a weird hairline, but if you guys follow me over on Instagram, I'm constantly gluing shit to my face because I do a lot of cartoon looks over there. And just from ripping those pieces out, 
it looks like I have like a bit of a bald spot there. So this is nice to just fill it in. So I don't always like using powder for this area because I'm always scared that I'm gonna like wind up touching my hair and rubbing it and then like touching my face or something or I don't know. Whenever I use powder, it just looks super obvious, I feel like. So this would be a good way to lay those hairs down. I actually really like that. It looks pretty natural. I wonder if that'll work on these little pieces here because I like these little flyaway baby hairs. <laughs> it's definitely made for the little hairs, but they did something. And this guy is $22, which is not bad at all for how much you get in here. It's designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair, no alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, no irritating, non-flaking, and it slicks and smooths your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. I didn't even realize the peach scent. Oh, that's like a really strong peach scent for me not even noticing. But I guess if it's going on your hair, it doesn't really matter. If you're somebody who's sensitive to scents, it smells like a very artificial peach. It's like uh, like peach rings, the candy. I mean, not, not a bad scent. It's just like, I didn't expect that. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was my September BoxyCharm box unboxing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you guys get your box yet? If you did, what did you get? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps me out. It helps push my videos out to the algorithm. And yeah, if you want to see more videos from me, make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.